Hello guys, welcome to new video. In this video, we have a wondrous app and in here we know that this app is built with Flutter and it's a very beautiful app. You can check the code in GitHub, it's open source and <laughs> it is very beautiful and very and have a very nice animations and I want to show you how we can read best practice codes and how we can read the codes of other people and other company. In here, if I show you the GitHub repo, you can see in here we have the code and we know that this app is built with Flutter and let's check the code. I want to show you this code and I want to get and see how this code can manage styles for every size of app for example in here i'm running this app on mac os and you can see for example in here if i scroll up this this is a big title okay and if i change the size you can see the size of these text is changed if you see this you can see it's it's changing this font we are create this adaptive styles in previous video and in here I remove the styles but I read this code and it has a very good code and we can uh, learn from this code I want to show you how we can check and implement for example style sections adaptive sec style sections in our app in our my in our website I put uh, I clone this project you know that you can go to GitHub and code and you can clone or you can download the zip. It doesn't matter for now, it's very simple, but we have our code. In here you can see this code structure. In here we have lib, styles, UI and in here we have something for English and China. Uh, these are app localization. Uh, I will create a video about that how we can add multi-language application how we can create this kind of application it doesn't matter for now in here we have logics we know that maybe in here we have some uh, logic things not UI things it's very good and in here we have styles in here we have UI that that's contain that's contain in here we know that we have uh, UI things, we have widgets, for example in here we have uploading, we have checkbox and everything. I, it doesn't matter for now. We have, we, I want to go to styles and in here we can see this app has a folder called styles and in here we know that okay we have colors and in styles if you see this section you see that okay App style get screen size in constructor and depend that size it's generate and change scale. For example, check a screen size and if it's up, it's greater than 1000, scale is 1.25. Or if it's small, you can see it's 0.85. And after that, we have lots of class. For example, for text that we create in here, we pass scale. And after that, we know that, for example, in here, if I go down, you can see, for example, for in create font, it's check if it scales and do some calculation on the scales and generate uh, text styles depend on uh, layout size for example in tablet we have a big we big text style but in mobile we have small text style but i don't want to create it this it is very lots of styles i don't want to create things like this but i want to add some change for example we know that we have styles and we are checking breakpoints with adaptive scaffold and in here i can figure it out is my application in large mode or in a small mode and in here 
I am generating the text. For example, if is if is large, I change my font size to H1 large size in here 62. But it's but if is large is false, I generate H1 small size. Maybe uh, I need maybe we can change it and uh, implement this file better. But for now is good. And I know that in desktop header landing, I have this style and I want to create exactly th these comment things. And what's this? In here, if you see this code, you will see, I, I open my, in, I open my, I open main dot dart. And in here, you can see we have app styles in Wondrous app. We have a styles and every styles read from this. For example, in here, it's get styles, for example, times and duration. We have some duration class in a styles. Okay? And how it's work? How we can read these styles like this? It's a getter, it, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. It's a getter for this class. This class has a style, and in here we have a style, and we are regenerate app style depend on build of wondrous app scaffold. In here it's build, every time it's rebuild, we are put our app style and regenerate styles depend on context.sizePX. It depends on context, we know that. Our app is just like this and in here we know that depend on context in our style class, our style file depend on context, we can understand uh, we can understand our app is in large mode or in a small mode. In here it's something like our code, but it doesn't matter. And let's check how we can use this class. In this code, if you go to the main, you can see this uh, code and in here, if you check this code, we have GoRouter. I will talk about GoRouter in another video and I, I want to explain you how we can add navigation for our application with GoRouter. GoRouter is a very good package and we can use it. It doesn't matter for now, but if you go to app router, you can see we have our path. For example, if, if we gonna if we wanna go to timeline, we have this this path and we uh, launch timeline screen or it doesn't matter, but we have a line in here, navigator builder. In here navigator builder is create wondrous app scaffold and pass child. What happened in here? In here, Goroter defined this class for parents of each navigation building. For example, if I am creating landing page or collection screen, it doesn't matter. For each of these classes, navigation builder, it's wrap. I can, for example, remove this and pass only child. It doesn't different to comment this. It doesn't matter for now. If I put child in here, these navigation builders gives us a callback and we can access to our current child. For example, if, cur if our current screen is timeline screen, this child is timeline screen. And we can wrap it with another widget. In here, this code is wrapped child and each screen with wondrous app scaffold and when we do this we know that in everywhere in our application we have this class because this is parent for all our roads and when we wrap this file we know that in build before everything done we have our exactly true styles and in here we have our styles depend on context and after that when we create our styles and this style exactly this style we have it in here after that when a styles is created it it's do some uh, configuration doesn't matter but after all of that we have child this child 
is for example landing page screen, about us screen and every screens and in here we understand each page are wrapped, each page is wrapped with Wondrous app and we are configuring all pages with one file and we don't have any duplicate code. Let's bring this code in our application and in our map in our website. Alright. In here I want to create for example new file my site my site scaffold.dart stateless widget my site scaffold and I want to import this yeah it's very good and in here I just wanna I know that I need a final widget child and add it as a named argument in here I have my child and I just wanna return the child but before return my child I wanna create a static app style style equals app style we know that in app style we have optional context and in here we don't have any context I doesn't pass and I doesn't put my context in here but in here I regenerate my style app style in here I have context and I pass my context okay I have my scaffold it's very simple and every time it's built I regenerate a style depend on context okay in main we don't have Goroter now, but in Material App, we have a parameter that's called Builder, and it take a function in here, yeah. And in here, we can, if I, for example, return container, let's just simply add a container and refresh again, and you can see nothing happened because I am telling the Flutter, okay, when you want to build any page, <laughs> don't do nothing and just return container, okay, and. For that, I have at least black screen. For example, I can put color, colors.red, and you can see. For each screen, for every screen I have, I just return a container with background red, but <laughs> we don't like this. We want my site scaffold and pass our child. Okay, I check if child is null, just simply return a container. It's does a null okay okay you can see I have a my site is scaffold and I know that when I am doing this in here in landing page in desktop header landing I have my my scaffold and every time is these are built my site scaffold is built already okay I go to main in here in my in landing page in this section I can simply I remove this, add a style, and in here I can use my site scaffold.style.text.h1. Okay, I paste, and in here you can see I have my adaptive text style, and if I'm in large mode, I have a big text, but if I go to a small, I have a small text. And why we can access these if I remove if I go to the main and remove this builder and refresh again alright you can see in here the text doesn't change because it's it's a default text style because we don't pass my scaffold for each screen we wanna add my scaffold to handle our size in here you can see the size is handled but we can, like Wondrous App, we can add a getter. App style, get, we call this dollar style, you can call it everything you want. And it need to get my scaffold style. We add this line to handle our styles very shortly. We don't need add my scaffold again and just we can add dollar style and everything is work.
you can do it with myscaffold.style.txt.h1, but we do this for short for having short code and clean code. It's better for now. In this video, I try to explain you how we can read codes, how we can read good codes, and how we can learn from this code. And for example, we can use, uh, for example, in here I use this style strategy for my site, and you can do this. It's uh, very, very helpful to read codes of other people and yeah. And in here, I know that I uh, need to add my other styles. For example, I know that in styles, I need some other text styles or in Wondrous app, you can see in here, we have lots of uh, style type. For example, we have times, corners, size, insets, we add, we need to add insets for padding. For example, in a small device, we need to have, for example, 25 padding, but in big device, we need, for example, 150 padding. All right, it's enough for now, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell and like this. Thank you, goodbye.